All right, welcome back, everyone, to episode 7 of this CSGO How to Get Better series. Today's episode is going to be about the weapons in the game. And deathmatch with all of the guns. Just a quick tip. Just deathmatch with all the guns we're going to talk about. Well, just deathmatch with the ones that you're going to use. And today I'll discuss which ones you should use and which ones are going to be used in competitive a lot. And tomorrow I go back to school, so I won't be able to post as many videos from now on. But I'll keep trying. These guides also take a while, so maybe once a week I'll post a guide, and the rest of the week I'll fill it in with some other games. Anyways, uh, let's just get started. Oh, I also changed my name to Brand Man on my channel. Uh, I don't know why. I just <laughs> it's just a name that I just made up, so I just decided to use that instead of Trigger Happy. So uh, yeah, let's just get let's just get into the meat of it, meat of things. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways. That was the P2000 you guys saw. It's only for the CT side. Slow down your shots with the P2000 and aim for the head and you'll, you'll get some kills. Here's the other CT side of pistol, the USP. And these are the two default pistols that you spawn with. So the USP has a detachable silencer and you can use it on silenced or silenced. I like it silenced. It's really accurate so just slow down your shots with that and you can spray for the head with the USP. Here's the Deagle. Uh, I'm gonna say this now. The Deagle sucks. Don't even, don't even bother your time. Here's the 5.7, and the 5.7. You guys see, I just mow those guys down with that 20 bolt clip, and you can get some pretty ridiculous kills with this weapon. Anyways, uh, but before we kind of proceed, I'm not gonna do every single weapon in the game because that would just make the video way too long. I've divided it up into tiers. So right now I'm doing the pistols, obviously, and. Uh, you guys will see in a second, I'll move on. But anyways, here's the P250. The P250 is probably my favorite pistol in the game, just because it is a headshot beast. Slowing down your shots, you can get some nice kills at long range, and if you, and if you aim for the head, you get lots of headshots. And close range, if you just spray them, spray them down, aim for the body, then you will get some ridiculous kills with that thing. Favorite pistol. This clock for the terrorist side, Used to be my favorite pistol, but uh, they nerfed it a little bit because it was a little, a little unbalanced compared to the other CT pistols. So uh, I guess that's good for gameplay and competitive. But the Glock, the Glock is still good though. Don't get me wrong; it, they just nerfed the damage a tad. But the Glock is still pretty good. Anyways, moving on here are the assault rifles. So we're moving into the assault rifle tier of weapons. So here you guys are seeing the AK-47, and the AK-47. Spraying down close range that'll work just fine. Just learn to control it. There's a certain spray pattern that you guys will figure out if you deathmatch with it a lot. And there you guys see the devastating two shot burst. You can get some disgusting headshots with the AK at long range with the two shot burst. Here I'm using the M4A1S. Three shot burst with this weapon and long to medium range will earn you some kills. And if you learn to control the spray pattern like that, you guys will do good with this weapon as well and same thing goes with the other M4 oh and the M4A1 silence the M4A1S has a detachable silencer just like the USP does but anyways this this unsilenced M4 a, a M4 this unsilenced M4 has the same traits as the other one so just three shot burst with this weapon and learn to control the spray except that M4 has 30 bullets and the M4A1 silenced only has 20 bullets in a clip and the M4A1 sounds has less ammo, so keep that in mind when you're choosing which one you want to play with. Anyways, moving on to the scoped weapons. This is the SSG, not the SSG, it's the SIG something or something. I don't remember the name. It starts with an S, but this is the this is one of the scoped assault rifles in the game. There's another one for the CT side, and this is for the terrorist side only. The spray is actually really controllable on this weapon, and the scope is really accurate. I tend to not use these weapons very much. I just prefer the AK and the M4s, to be honest. But the scuffed weapons are actually pretty good. So here you guys see me just mow those guys down with the AUG. As you guys saw, the AUG actually has a really controllable spray. You guys can just learn. You guys just honestly just deathmatch with all the weapons. That's all you really need to do, and just pra practice makes perfect. Like I always say. And the scoped weapon with the AUG, you can just lock you can just lock areas down like choke points. Like here at long doors you can lock it down. Unfortunately, 
those two guys couldn't lock it down <laughs> and uh, I sprayed them down with my second favorite CT weapon third third favorite I don't know one of my favorite CT weapons the FAMAS I sprayed them down with the automatic fire rate there's two firing modes the automatic and the burst fire and you guys saw how devastating that automatic fire rate is and here I'm gonna show you guys a burst firing clip just to show you how accurate it really is now the kill wasn't that uh, exciting or whatever but the it just shows how accurate it really is so here we're moving on to the sniper tier of weapons so the first weapon is the op the op is the one shot kill sniper except in the legs and it's a one shot kill in the head of course and it's it's a little bit heavier than some of the other sniper snipers but the op is my favorite sniper in the game it's used in competitive a lot so you guys will see this if you play competitive matchmaking and always QQ with the weapon and if you guys don't know what QQ is QQ is pressing your Q key twice on the keyboard it's the quick switch key so switching to your secondary your pistol and then switching back to the op it takes less time to load a bullet into your op when you do that than rather just like shooting and then just letting it load in automatically so just practice QQing and do that with the sniper as well the SSG however the SSG even though it's lighter than the op it's the op is far superior because the op is a one shot kill in the body and this is a two shot kill in the body and you gotta be really you gotta be skilled to use this weapon I guess because you gotta aim for the head most of the time to get a, to get a kill if they're not damaged already so just keep that in mind uh, but the SSG is actually pretty fun to use unfortunately they have this weapon in the game the auto sniper they have two of these for the CT side and the terrorist side uh, all, all I'm gonna say is fuck that weapon don't use it it's a piece of shit alright moving on the shotguns alright so some of the shotguns are absolutely ridiculous in this game the range it's, look at that the Nova I'm pretty sure has the longest range it is it is it is pretty insane and I mean look at that that is fucking oh my god that is so so dirty these shotguns um I guess they're, I, don't, I wouldn't say they're overpowered, but I mean, some of the shotties are just, they can just be ridiculous. Just ridiculous. So sometimes you might have fun using those. So SMGs. Uh, this is the PP Bazone. This is my favorite SMG, in my opinion. It's, it is my favorite. Uh, it's the best in the game, I think. Well, actually, not the best. Never mind. That's a lie. It's my, in my opinion, it is my favorite. I can't get the words to come out of my mouth that I want to say, but the PP Zone is my favorite. As you guys saw, the spray on that thing is ridiculous. This is probably the best SMG in the game, the P90. The spray is also ridiculous on this, and I think it has higher damage. And the fire rate is, it's, yeah, it's insane. And speaking of spraying down and all that fire rate and good stuff, here is the LMG tier of weapons. So, uh, yeah, there's two LMGs, the M249 and this bad boy here, the Negev. I don't like using, the, I just don't like using the overpowered weapon, weapons, guys. I just really don't. So the Negev, um, you guys might say that, might see that in competitive sometimes. Uh, I just don't like it. Anyways, those were the grenades. There's a frag grenade, a flashbang, a smoke, and a Molotov and a incendiary grenade. And then, of course, you got your knife. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. Um, I guess I'll see you guys later. Perfect.